We just got to the brand new skate park in Beaumont Hills here in Sydney. This park cost $4 million to build. It was designed by Place and built by Trinity Skate Parks. This place already looks so fun and I know I'm going to have a really fun session here. So let's get into the skate park tour so I can get into my session already. So this park was built under the Sydney Metro line here. So being under the bridge, having the cool aesthetics and the color design and everything, this park just actually looks so sick. So it's basically split up between two lanes here. This is the longer lane starting with the big quarter pipe, which is kind of random. There's not really much way to get speed for this. This thing or you can't even get on top of it to drop in and use it properly unless you come flying down the skate park and get enough speed to hit it but yeah i don't think i'm going to be touching that but this looks like my section right here nice long flat ledge nice long flat bar manual pad slappy curbs a frame section with a bank to ledge on the top of the back there and then the smaller lane over here has a cool pyramid hip there's a curb on top of the bank this section looks pretty fun here too so it's like a wally ledge on top that rainbow rail looks cool it's like a slappy rainbow rail slappy curb on the side also looks really fun quarter pipe at the end there so there's a lot of things here it's pretty diverse for all types of skateboarding that slappy curb in the middle looks so sick and so fun to skate and i like the uniqueness of the a-frame rail here where they've got like quarter pipes on the side of it so it's not just a rail you can hit the side and ride up to rail as well and there's a bit of a hip here i just realized on the quarter pipes here so that is the main section of the skate park here your more traditional style but at the back of the grounds here they've added a pump track as well which looks really fun there's some humps here a cool little quarter wave and then that leads into the pump track over there and then you've got like your typical basketball court section and seated area around here so this park spans like a pretty wide area and it's so sick to be under the bridge here. So if it's too hot, you can skate like under the shade or if it's raining a bit, at least you can skate like the undercover section. So that is the whole skate park. It looks pretty sick to me. I'll get a trick on every obstacle here so you guys can see how it all flows. And then I'll talk about the positives and the negatives, but I've already heard a lot of negatives about this park. I've already found one big one, which is there's no parking here. I had to park all the way over at the shops there and then cross the road to get here, which isn't a big deal, but there's no actual parking for the skate park. But let's get into skating every obstacle and then I'll talk more about everything here. So that's about everything at the skate park here. I even did a few laps around the pump track so you guys can see how that flows and how quick it is, which was really fun, but I was scared I was gonna slip out because it's a brand new skate park and it's super slick. So that's it for me in the pump track. But the positives of the park, besides me being biased and having lots of rails and ledges and all the slappies here, I feel like they've used this space really well. So the space isn't that big for where the skate park sits, but they've added so many obstacles in and nothing is really cramped in on top of each other. I'm actually surprised how well everything is laid out and spaced out. Like you've got a lot of room between each obstacle. The only thing that's tight, I would say, is where the slappy curb is. And if you wanna hit the A-frame on the quarter pipe side, you 
kind of have to weave into that. I had a bit of trouble on that, but I don't think that's a big negative at all. Being built under the bridge here is such a massive positive. Skating in the shade is so nice. It's actually so hot today, so it was nice to be able to skate in the shade or walk into the shade and stand there for a few seconds before going back into the sun if I was trying to skate that side. So the park's super fun. It flows well. There's lots of space. There's lots of diverse obstacles. It's in the shade, but for the negatives of the park, there is a lot of them. Now, I've already talked about the main one being there is no parking at this area. You have to park way across the road where the shops are, over where the sports complex is as well. But either way, like there's no direct parking at the skate park. There is no water bubblers or water fountains or water refill stations here at all either. So on a hot day like this, I'm glad I brought a lot of water with me, but I would have had to go back and forth to the shops and just keep buying water and drinks because it's just so hot out here and there's no water fountains at all. The park does have lights on the flat bar A-frame side, but I don't think it's directly for the skate park. I think it's just for that footpath there. So people can kind of see where they're going at night when they get to the skate park area because there's no lights on the other side of the skate park besides in the basketball court. But I'm not sure if those basketball court lights are gonna light up the skate park enough for you to see properly to skate. But over where the pump track is, there are no lights. So you're not gonna be skating the pump track at night, which I don't know if that's a massive problem. Like, I don't know about BMX riders and scooters and stuff, but I don't think skaters are gonna go try and have a full on session in the pump track at nighttime. So that is a negative that there's no lights over there, but I personally don't care about that because I'm not gonna skate the pump track anyway. Another negative is what skate parks always do, and I don't know why they keep doing it, but it's putting wood chips and bark all around the skate park. I get that the landscaping looks nice and they're trying to make it aesthetic and a nice kind of looking area, but wood chips are not the way. They're already spread out all over the skate park. Your wheels hit them and you just stop and go flying. So I know nothing about landscaping and gardening and stuff, so maybe it's cheaper for them to use that, but surely there's something else they can use because every time they put it at the skate park, it just goes everywhere and no one ever learns that. Now for the skate park, there aren't a lot of negatives that are actually at the skate park. My only main one would be, like I already said, it's kind of tight if you want to hit that quarter pipe to A-frame, but I don't think that's a big drama at all. My only problem is the A-frame kicker shoots you up way too high for how low the rail and the ledge is. I actually didn't even want to skate the rail out of the A-frame kicker because it just shoots you up too high and I hate ollieing down into a trick. I'd rather ollie up and meet the grind rather than ollieing down because if you slip out and miss, you're already on the downwards path. So it's a lot more dangerous for me skating lower stuff like that. But that's just my personal preference. I would prefer the rail and the ledge to be higher. Since the kicker is there to get you up there, it doesn't have to be so low. You can afford to put that kind of stuff higher because the kick is going to help you get up there. So if I'm being picky, that's the only bad thing I have to say about the actual skate park design. The rest of the negatives here are bad, but they don't have a lot to do with how the skate park flows or how it designs. So the skate park is pretty perfect to me anyway. Now I know Kellyville Station is only two minutes up the road there. I drove past it on my way here and it was super close. So if you guys aren't driving, it might be a good idea to get the train to Kellyville Station and you can either ride down here or catch the bus because all of the bus lanes are right here next to the skate park. But if you guys are driving, make sure you do a bit of research on where to park. I would say go to the McDonald's or Edamoga pub. I'm looking at it right now. It's just across the road. So that's where I parked and I just crossed at the lights there and rode down. But definitely bring your own drinks, bring a lot of water because there's no water fountains here at all. And this might be the only skate park I've been to that doesn't have any water bubbles. So the park's super fun. I really like it. The negatives of the park don't really outweigh the positives of the skate park itself. So I'm definitely going to come back here. I had to cut the session short because I need to get out of here, but I definitely want to come back here ASAP and have a proper session. If you like this video and you like how this park looks, check out my Miranda skate park review right here because that was also designed by Place as well and that skate park is amazing. So check that video out. Let me know which skate park you want me to do next and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.